Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see some important multiple choice questions from pharmacology in the chapter uh, Insulins and Oral Hypoglycemic Drugs. So these are some important multiple choice questions. You have to study the chapter completely for the preparation of the pharmacist competitive exam. These questions will be helpful for uh, those who is preparing for the exams like uh, GPAT for government pharmacist exam as well as the prometric exam for the GILF. So the question number 16, this is the second part of this section. The insulin receptor is a insulin receptor is a options ion channel regulator receptor, tyrosine protein kinase receptor, G protein coupled receptor, none of the above. The correct answer is option B tyrosine protein kinase receptor. The insulin receptor is tyrosine protein kinase receptor. Next question number 17. The primary route of administration of insulin is. This is a simple question. The primary route of administration of insulin is intradermal, subcutaneous, intramuscular, intravenous. Option B. Subcutaneous. Insulin is given through SC route. Next question, question number 18. The duration of action of insulin zinc suspension. The duration of action of insulin zinc suspension, that is in Lende insulin is 2 to 4 hours, 8 to 10 hours, 20 to 24 hours, 30 to 36 hours. The correct answer is 20 to 24 hours. Lende insulin. The duration of action is 20 to 24 hours. Next question, question number 19. The most common adverse reactions to the insulin is hypoglycemia, lipodystrophy, urticaria, angioedemia. The question is the most common adverse effect. The most common adverse reaction of insulin. The options are hypoglycemia, lipodystrophy, urticaria, angioedema. The correct answer is hypoglycemia. The question number 20. There is no alternative to insulin therapy for there is no alternative to insulin therapy for all type 1 diabetes mellitus patient all type 2 diabetes mellitus patient type 2 diabetes patient not controlled by a sulfonylurea drug type 2 diabetes patient not controlled by a bigonate drug the correct answer is type 1 diabetes mellitus patient there is no alternative to insulin therapy for all type 1 diabetes mellitus patient. Question number 21. The insulin preparation of choice in diabetic ketoacidosis is. The insulin preparation of choice in diabetic ketoacidosis is. Options are regular insulin, Lende insulin, isophain insulin, 30 to 70 mixture of plain and isophain insulin. The correct answer is option A, regular insulin. In case of diabetic ketoacidosis, the insulin preparation of choice is regular insulin. Question number 22. Insulin resistance can be minimized by the use of corticosteroid, tolbutamide, protamine, monocomponent human insulin. Insulin resistance can be minimized by the use of Corticosteroids, tolbutamide, protamine, monocomponent, human insulin. The correct answer is option D. Question number 23. Human insulins are obtained by the following sources. Except cadaver pancreas, pro-insulin recombinant bacterial, precursor yeast recombinant, enzyme modification of pork insulin. Here the question is insulins are obtained by the following sources except the correct answer is cadaver insulin I mean cadaver pancreas we are moving to the next question question number 24 the second generation sulfonylurea the second generation sulfonylurea hypoglycemic differs from the first generation ones in that they are more potent, they are longer acting, they do not lower blood sugar in non-diabetic subject, they are less prone to cause hypoglycemic reaction. 
the second question was the second generation sulfonylurea hypoglycemic differs from the first generation one in that X correct answer is they are more potent second generations are more potent question number 25 metformin is preferred over fenformin because metformin is preferred over fenformin because it is more potent it is less liable to cause lactic acidosis it does not interfere with vitamin b12 absorption it is not contraindicated in patient with kidney disease the correct answer is lactic acidosis it is it is less liable to cause lactic acidosis fenformin will cause lactic acidosis metformin is preferred over the fenformin because it is less liable to cause lactic acidosis question number 26 sulfonylurea do not lower blood sugar level in non diabetics type 1 diabetics type 2 diabetics obese diabetics sulfonylureas do not lower blood sugar level in non diabetics type 1 type 2 obese diabetics correct answer is type 1 type 1 there is only choice that is insulin for the treatment only insulin is the choice next question question number 27 sulfonylurea hypoglycemic acts by the mechanism of action option a reducing intestinal absorption of glucose increasing insulin secretion from pancreas reversing down regulation of insulin receptors both b and c are correct sulfonylurea acts by correct answer is option d both b and c are correct that is increasing insulin secretion from the pancreas and also it reverses down regulation of insulin receptor question number 28 the hypoglycemic action of sulfonylurea is likely to be attenuated by the concurrent use of the hypoglycemic action of sulfonylurea is likely to be attenuated by the concurrent use of hydrochlorothiazide propranolol theophylin aspirin the correct answer is hydrochlorothiazide question number 29 metformin causes little lowering of blood sugar level in non diabetics obese or diabetics type 2 diabetics diabetics not responding to sulfonylurea metformin causes little lowering of blood sugar that is non diabetic next question question number 30 metformin act by the mechanism of action of metformin that is metformin act by option a releasing insulin from pancreas option b suppressing the gluconeogenesis and glucose output from the liver upregulating insulin receptor inhibiting degradation of insulin the correct answer is option b suppressing the gluconeogenesis and glucose output from the liver that is metformin action next question question number 31 the following anti diabetic drug inhibit insulin in the stranal breast border alpha glucosidase enzyme the following anti diabetic drug inhibits intestinal brush border alpha glucosidase enzyme acarbose pioglitazone metformin guargam the correct answer is acarbose acarbose inhibit alpha glucosidase enzyme next question question number 32 and the last question of this video glucagon release from the pancreas is stimulated by glucagon release from pancreas is stimulated by high blood glucose level insulin somatostatin adrenaline the correct answer is adrenaline so thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you like this video if you like please make subscription of this v channel ns pharma youtube channel and in coming days we can expect more videos of different topics Thank you.